If it's not realistic, are you really going to do it? Are you really going to follow it? How long can you actually maintain that? And what does that look like going forward? So a lot of uh, a lot of comments that I've been getting in the comment section and in the, uh, in the DMs about this lately has been about this idea of going real hard into something. And I agree, like most people who, moderation is not something that most people can do. They think they can do it. It's kind of like, the example that uh, I think it was Pritikin and I think even uh, Peter Rogers uses, I th there's a bunch of people who use this example of like, if you're trying to quit smoking or drinking, the idea of having smoking or drinking available to you on like Saturday is not going to actually get rid of that thing that you don't want to be doing anymore. So. The idea of moderation for a lot of people is not going to be that great of an idea. However, what else can you do and what should you be doing to get to the goals that you're actually looking to to be at? Now, this could be any kind of thing, really. Like uh, most of the time I talk about diet on this this channel, but it could be anything that, that you really want to do. Another thing is, is exercise. Now, I do like the idea of seeing yourself from the end of where you want to be. So the idea of you want to look a certain way or be able to do a certain thing. I actually think wanting to do a certain thing is better than wanting to look a certain way. So an example of this is if you want to squat 405 pounds, go towards that goal not towards what you're going to look like when you achieve that goal because you don't really know what you're going to look like when you get to that goal. You could be a lot different. You could be not that much different at all. Did you succeed at your goal or not? Or if you have a certain body type that you're looking to, to achieve, if it's possible for your genetics, kind of go from that end goal and just work your way up to it. But you're not going to start, day, if you can't even squat, barely to squat the bar right now, you're not going to be squatting the bar today and tomorrow you're not going to be squatting you know, 405 pounds. It's just not going to happen. Likewise, if you're 405 pounds or more, which is where I was at, you're not going to be 200 pounds in that week, right? So you're not going to be where you want to be in that week. I don't know what you would have to do in reality that, that there's no odds of that actually happening. Or if you wanted to be the best, I don't know, violinist ever, ever, you're not gonna go from never having played the violin to being the best, most sought after violinist ever made. The realistic end of this, or if you want to kind of reset your taste buds, is it a good idea just to do rice only for a certain amount of time? I don't know. You know, these are, these are different things that you have to really, in your mind, look at what is realistic to actually achieving. And is it a good idea to just be at that place? Because most of the time, the journey is way more exciting than the final destination in almost every category in life, right? Every category in life, it's more, the journey is usually more fun because life is just a journey. Now, most people are on some form of, I don't know, they're on some form of repeat or something. And I myself have been in that lately. It's, it's I, so I can, I can really sympathize with people who get stuck in that. I really have gotten to a point of just robotically doing things. So it's, it's not great in some aspects and other aspects and it, it is good. So take that with what you will. But I think the more robotic you are, maybe the better off you are in certain aspects, but then you will also turn things down. So another example of that was when I left it real heavy, I was robotic with it and I had this certain thing that I wanted to attain, but I would turn everything else down that did not achieve that goal. And you get to a point and you start thinking to yourself, like after you hit the goal, was it worth turning all these other opportunities down? And some the, sometimes the answer to that is yes. Sometimes the answer to that is definitely yes. And most of the time though, it's no. You know, I would have had more fun having gone to, I don't know, the, the party with somebody or something like that, or a gathering or something, instead of constantly like, well, no, if I do this, this will probably happen and uh, this lift won't go right or whatever it is. So setting real realistic expectations of yourself is really going to set you up for longevity. Setting yourself up for achievable things. You know, like 
if you're going to school for something, they don't just, you're not going to just go to school on day one and by day three, you're going to be at the end of everything that you're going to do for the two year program that you were in. So it's going to be one of these things. And a lot of us are not patient. I don't have patience at all. I'm not patient at all. So I get it. You want to, you know, you're going for school for a certain thing and you want that just to happen today. And it's just not a realistic thing. It took you X amount of years to get this way. It took you X amount of years to start drinking like this. It took you X amount of years to whatever, or months or whatever, to get to this weight that you don't want to have anymore. Or if you've been eating carnivore or keto or whatever, crazy, super restrictive diet that you've been on, whatever happened with that diet and the amount of time that it took it to, to happen is not going to be reversible and actually, a lot of people's hormones get really screwed up with this and it's going to take you a lot longer than you would think to get where you actually want to go even if you're eating the right thing now or it's doing the right thing or whatever so it takes you a very amount a varying amount of time to get where you didn't want to be and it's also going to take you a varying amount of time to get where you don't or to, where you do want to be in the meantime don't drive yourself crazy trying to get from point A to point B as soon as possible because most of the time when you do that, you don't enjoy the ride, you don't enjoy anything, you're miserable the entire time, you can't stand anything, all you can think about is this one goal. Everything else in your life completely shuts off, it just becomes this one track mind. Uh, you you kind of lose yourself in this whole thing. You don't even know who you are anymore and you turn into this robot. Now this video is largely for myself, I make these videos largely for what I'm going through right now, but I know a lot of other people are in this boat and I can tell just based on the comments and the DMs that I get that they're freaking out about a certain thing and they want so badly to have it undone or have, have it never have, have happened, but it did. You know, you, you might even be in this pattern that keeps pushing it further than than you actually want it so you might be in this crazy pattern of yours or ocd or just overthinking everything when you really don't need to do that now you know this is rich coming from me somebody who uh, a chronic overthinker but it what what good does it do you in, in in the long run to overthink this stuff so set realist realistic expectations what what might that look like so if you want to get to a point where you're walking an hour a day don't start walking an hour a day unless you can maintain that. But if you're somebody who has not walked in months or years or whatever, like, not, I'm not talking like walking to the car or whatever, or walking in the grocery store. I'm talking about like actually walking. Or if you live in a hilly area, especially if you live in a hilly area, if you haven't walk, been walking the hills or riding the hills, don't just start off with an hour. Unless you are somebody like me who has a ridiculous uh, endurance level, start off with ten minutes. Or if your uh, if your if your goal is to walk like three blocks or something like that, it depends. I guess if you're in the city or not. But if you, if you want to walk three city blocks, you know maybe all three, just around all three. Don't start off doing that unless you can do that. And if you can do that, then chances are you should have higher goals for yourself than just doing the three. So start off with doing maybe just to the end of the, to, to the block and back or something like that. So that's a realistic expectation because the more time you put into something, it turns into diminishing returns in the long run. So if, if we're gonna use walking for an example or exercise just period, like if you're training with weights, they call it volume, you know, how much volume are you putting into it? Um, I'm so I'm assuming it's tr like that for for most things. If you're training for most things, it's, it's, it's a volume. You know, like you you ride for a certain amount of time. Now it's not going to be hardcore all the time. Like if you're on a professional team, it's just a volume of amount of time. So you might have to like if you're on a professional team. I think they ride like six or seven hours a day, right? So it's, it's a volume. It's a volume thing. But for you. If you're not being paid to do this, or if it's not part of your life and you're adding it into your life, don't start off where you want to be because then you're going to have to just keep adding time. It would be better off for you to add like 10 minutes or you start off at 10 minutes and then instead of adding going up to 15 minutes, maybe if you were walking on a flat, flat, you know, ground for 10 minutes and all of a sudden you added in like a, I don't know, six or 7% gradient for 10 minutes. That's gonna be a huge, a much more advantage to you than if you were just 
adding 15 minutes on a, a, a level ground. So take that into consideration. It's it's usually better to add more within that time frame. And then once you add more and more and more into within that time frame, and it's just so easy for you, that's when you start adding time into it. Add like a certain like small percent, like 3% or something like that a week or some, some small number. And then once you get to that point of like, I could literally just do this in my sleep. I don't even know that I'm doing this anymore. I'm not. I, 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 you know, it's just so easy for me. That's when you start adding time in because time starts. It's it just, it's an, it's a ridiculous way of doing things for the most part, unless you, like I said, are in a professional team and you've been doing this for years. Now, when it comes to diet, Doug Lyle, one of the things that he used to tell people, and I'm sure he still does is start off your day with oatmeal and see how that goes and just eat the rest of the day like you would. And then once you're comfortable with that, add in lunch. But some other people are gonna have to go cold turkey with especially diet. But with exercise, realistic expectations really need to come into play. With diet, you have to know yourself. If you're somebody who moderation is never gonna work, you're gonna have to just go cold turkey and maybe you're going to have breakfast real strict and high carb, low fat, and maybe you'll do versions that you can achieve with, you know, the other meals of the day, or if you want to label the meals, but it has to be realistic. And I don't think uh, one of the most, mo one of the most unrealistic things in my mind is to just go straight up mono. Like you're just going to eat potatoes for two weeks. Now I know a lot of people have had success with that, but a lot of other people have not had success with that. And it makes you binge and, and, and get even worse than you were going into it. So really keep that in mind. Really ask yourself, is this something that I can uh, do realistically? And watch your track record. Now, I know you can change. People can change. But watch your track record with that. And if it's not something that's ever happened, maybe don't assume that that's going to happen. Or if it is going to finally happen, you're finally going to be on this new track or this new, new version of yourself. Just confirm that every morning when you wake up or something like that. Give, give yourself affirmations, write them down, speak them out loud to yourself. Nobody else needs to be around. Actually talking them in the mirror is fine too. That's probably one of the better ones. Yes. So that is my response to a lot of the DMs and comments. Again, if you haven't seen me on Instagram, I am on Instagram. I do believe I have the link for it down below. So go check that out. Um, it's, <laughs> it really can be just as easy as you want it to be but it might take a little bit longer than you'd like. And most people with this instant gratification nowadays, especially with like Amazon and stuff like that, you order it and you probably can get it that day. Keep that in mind, really pay attention to this stuff. Pay attention to the past uh, version of yourself. Where has that self version of you gotten on, on with uh, making huge changes in, in your life? Can you do it? If it's something that you can do very easily, then maybe go for it. I did review that one woman who uh, lives, I believe in Singapore now, but is originally from China. And she did rice only for, I think it was seven or 14 days. I believe it was seven days. I reviewed that video a while ago. I think it's still on my channel. She did well with it. I think she lost like seven pounds in one week and she couldn't believe it. And she was making kind of fun of Chinese people because Chinese people are, and she's Chinese, uh, uh, are terrified of rice now, even with the other day. I had such a long day the other day. I had I, so much stuff to do and I did not feel like coming home and cooking. So I, I ordered Chinese food. Couldn't believe, and they give you such, like when I was growing up, they used to give you, it was basically all rice and like a little bit of stuff to go on top. And now it's a complete opposite. It's so American Westernized. Oh, it drives me nuts. And I know it's even like that in China. You know, so pay attention to this. What can you handle? What can't you handle? Really look at your past record and, and know that that's, that's probably going to happen again. You know, it's probably you. You're probably not the person that's going to go full in on something. Or if you are, then only do that. Moderation is not your thing. So decide which end of the table that you're on and just do that. Write it down. Like I've got notebooks everywhere, everywhere. I write stuff down all the time. Write it down, write what you're doing. Like I've said in a couple of other videos, if it's going to be diet related, pick five or six things that you really like to eat and just rotate those five or six things out every day. Especially, I find dinner seems to be the one that trips people up the most. They like 
they can eat whatever like very strict during like breakfast lunch dinner brunch whatever but once dinner hits they they, they go crazy i don't know if it's because most people are watching television nowadays while they're eating or whatever it is they go crazy during that period or Another thing is that they just skip everything prior to dinner because they're like they're trying to starve themselves or do whatever it is that you're trying to do and they'll they'll do that and then dinner comes and everything that you can think of you eat. So the dinner one, I would have five or six rotations that you have five or six meals that you rotate out because like I said, most people do tend to be able to do real good up until dinner and then it all falls apart. So figure out what that is and only buy that stuff, only have that stuff around. And then once you get tired of that five or six things, then figure out another five to six and only buy stuff for that or make variations of the five to six and then just only make those variations, whatever it, whatever it happens to be. Really make this easier on yourself because it doesn't need to be hard. And you know, once it is, that's when people start binging, failing, not wanting to do it, talking, you know, you know, or going back to whatever's most comfortable for them. And you've got to get to a place where it starts to be comfortable for you. And once it's at that comfort level, then you will just keep on being comfortable with it and you'll have no issues whatsoever. And that's when you can start adding. It's the same thing as the walking. Once that 10 minute around whatever block or two blocks or whatever in 10 minutes, whatever that ends up being, Whenever, whenever that's comfortable for you, then that's when you start adding things. And every exercise that you do really should be a conversational level, unless you wanna do hit once in a while. I don't really think it's a very good idea to do high intensity all the time. There's so many schools of thought on this, but in my experience, anyways, with training people and with training myself, the slow and steady always wins over the high intensity because most people will get burned out with high intensity. You've got a crazy job. You've got crazy family life. You've got crazy this. You're constantly on the go. You're drinking coffee or drinking caffeine or taking caffeine or whatever, whatever stimulants you're taking. Your adrenals are already taxed as it is. And so the more you tax your adrenals, the more your cortisol is actually gonna go up and that's when you start actually gaining weight and it's usually water weight. So really pay attention to that. Make uh, like walking into or whatever it is, jumping on a trampoline, uh, you know, like riding bike, whatever it happens to be for you. Uh, if, you if you pick an exercise that's, that's not fun for you, then it's obviously gonna raise your cortisol as well. So really pay attention to this. And that is where, you know, having somebody else coach you or watch you is, is a really good idea. That is the video. Any comments, questions down below, um, like, subscribe, really analyze, write down some of this, the past history of yourself before you really get started in this, because otherwise you're just going to be on repeat. Anyway, talk to you in the next one.